Henry made it. And every singer, young and old, wants a Louis Ocampo song because they get to meet Piola. <laughs> He's a good looking guy, actually. You have to admit, is a good looking guy. He has a concert. Are you directing that? You direct Piola, but you don't. Oh my god, it's just catching. Are you guys playing for Piola? Oh my god. You need an assistant director? I do it, you know. I think we have to start something. If I could start something in this country as a singer, it would be to make way not get in the way. A lot of singers are so insecure that when a new singer comes into town, they make them sit in the back. <laughs> Just kidding, they make them up. When a new singer comes into town, they have to, you know, step on them terribly. I was asked to do a concert in October and then November, but I have two friends who have concerts. And if you're really friends, why will you put your concert against their concert? Woo! 2009. <laughs> the dummy I really think it should start from the people who paved the way for singers like yourself. If we can't set a great example for you, and there's nothing for you to sing for, or that you have you have no gauge, you have no guide, let me show you how to be courteous. Let me show you how to let other people shine. Because in this country, it's wall to wall to wall talent. Every single person sings. And sings well. It's sickening. You go to any karaoke and they're singing all of these songs half drunk and they're still better than me. I don't get it. Because I don't drink like you. But let's do that. From now on, on this 25th year, let me be the first singer to sing. You may have it. Can I guess? <laughs> you know Piola, you know, you know Piola right? Could you? One of the most beautiful, painful songs ever written by Mr. Louis Ocampo. 